dive into English. Unravel the mystery of multi-meaning phrasal verbs. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our series on Grammar Fundamentals. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of phrasal verbs, focusing particularly on phrasal verbs with multiple meanings. Buckle up as we put these verbs to practice in reading exercises. A phrasal verb is a phrase that includes a verb and another element, either an adverb or a preposition, or sometimes both. The tricky part is, these phrases often have meanings that are very different from the meanings of the individual words. We're going to explore some commonly used phrasal verbs that have more than one meaning. Let's take a look at some common examples. Turn on can mean to start a piece of machinery or equipment, like a light or a computer. But it can also mean to excite or interest someone. Get over can mean to recover from an illness or disappointment, or it can mean to overcome an obstacle. Break up can mean to end a relationship, but it can also refer to splitting something into smaller pieces. We're going to use these and more in our reading exercises. Now, let's put our knowledge to the test with some reading exercises. 1. Turn on the light, it's too dark in here. 2. She just couldn't get over her fear of heights. 3. He decided to break up the old furniture and use it for firewood. Can you identify the meanings of the phrasal verbs in these sentences? Good job! Now, let's try a few more with alternative meanings. 1. His passion for music really turns me on. 2. I need to get over this flu before I can return to work. 3. After five years together, they decided to break up. How did you do? Were you able to understand the different meanings of the same phrasal verbs in different contexts? As with all aspects of language learning, practice is key when mastering phrasal verbs. Try to incorporate these phrasal verbs into your daily English conversations, and don't forget to read English texts regularly to see these verbs in action. And that's a wrap for today's lesson on phrasal verbs with multiple meanings. Hopefully, this has demystified the concept for you and you feel more confident using them. Remember, keep practicing and don't be afraid to make mistakes. That's how we learn. See you in our next video. Happy learning!